leaders that you've seen, where have been the susceptibilities, the vulnerabilities that over time they can work their way through, maybe giving them a little bit of guidance now, it can help. I think the biggest problem with the so-called leaders of the day is we're not really producing re leaders, we're just producing managers and supervisors. They come out as leaders and they suffer every moment of their life, this is what I'm saying. Because leadership doesn't come because of your ambition. Leadership happens… See, let's understand this. Ambition means you're tweaking up your desire, which is waste of time because your desires are based on what's happening around you or what has happened till now. An exaggerated version of what's around you is your desire. You can't desire something that you have not seen. You only desire something that you have seen, mildly exaggerated or overly exaggerated, it depends <laughs> on who you are. But leadership is about being able to take a group of people or a nation or the entire world in a direction and to a destination that they have not imagined possible. If it's something that they could imagine, they don't need you. They need a leader because he should be capable of taking them to a place where they themselves cannot imagine possible. For this, a leader needs a profound sense of insight. When I say insight, that you're able to see something, that other people cannot see. People are interested in doing things, but they are not interested in working upon themselves. If you believe that what you're doing is important, the most important thing in your life is to work upon yourself, to enhance your perception skills, to be able to see what others cannot see. You have an insight into what you wish to do. It is not even a question of what do I wish to do, it is a question of what is most needed right now. Because if you do what's needed, only then it's leadership. If I do something that's fanciful to me, then there will be nobody behind because this is all about me. So, the young leaders, the most important thing is that you don't tweak your desire in the name of ambition. You tweak your competence. If you keep on tweaking your comp competence, depending upon the times in which we live, opportunities that come up in front of us, naturally you will fall into the rhythm of what is there. If you have an enormous competence, then I don't think the world can put you down.